Well, howdy YouTube. Good morning. It is 9 uh, 49 here a.m. And I decided to use my camera pointed out the window. We got our storms. This is my state. These are manufactured storms. I uh, just wanted to uh, point it out for documentation purposes as I've been documenting the uh, days before of them prepping the atmosphere with my SRM reports, etc. That peg is where I am at. So that red right there is the storm that's passing over as we, uh, well, this is. Um, Let's see, central. Uh, actually, this loop is a little bit old. <laughs> Let's go ahead and zoom out the region, though. Um, I'm using AccuWeather, so let's not use any uh, uh, copyright infringements here. Okay, this is for educational purposes, but there you go. Uh, as you can see, these plumes here are being um, developed by frequency uh, generation. Okay as it interacts with the compounds with the aluminum and silica that it, they spray up there uh, in the atmosphere. All right, and uh, the silica actually, um, if you, when they prep the atmosphere days before, uh, will come down and look like spider webs actually. Uh, the best places to look for it because it's photosensitive and uh, attracts to light actually. So you can look at it in your street lamps, okay, and it'll look like spider webs. Uh, I'm not saying that there aren't spider webs out there, but uh, this stuff will form in strands like that and uh, down at your level, so uh, as it falls. Um, so yeah, just giving you some more little hints here in geoengineering. You can see these three balls right here. Okay, and these are all being generated by the radars here, here, and I believe they uh, are using the uh, eastern side here. They're not using any of the Des Moines radars, actually, that I can see, except maybe to intensify this line here. If you want to uh, zoom right back in here to where I'm at. Yeah, zoom in, guys. <laughs> there we go. All right. And it always seems to split apart as it goes by Des Moines. You see, if you were to get histories on radar loops, you'll see it, you know, they always make it go by these paths. Why? Because Des Moines is the capital. They don't want none of this slamming right into Des Moines and affecting its infrastructure. No, no. They'll let it go out there in the fields where Monsanto is growing their crops. You know, and I watched this special. Actually, I, I'm not, I, you know, I like PBS, but. Uh, on some respects, uh, and they were talking about, you know, slavery in the cotton industry, and, you know, you go down south, and how important cotton is still down there um, to be grown, and uh, why they need certain weather conditions to allow it to grow. And uh, same thing with what we grow up here, corn, soy, soybean, cattle, <laughs> uh, you know, our cattle need water in places to, you know, uh, to trot around in and, and uh, in their fields, so this actually help, helps out the cattle in some ways in uh, producing hay and, and alfalfa and uh, straw, the things that we need. Um, we didn't have a very good year this year. This precipitation actually is quite welcome. Uh, I also wanted to point out, please watch my videos that I post on Fukushima. Um, okay, that issue dwarfs anything I'm saying right here right now. Okay, geoengineering and everything is a matter of fact, and I want to put a shout out to Suspicious Observers. Again, he put out a good 3D map story uh, where they caught their uh, geoengineering dumping on a 3D map and uh, caught right, what would you call, uh, uh, white-handed <laughs> with their uh, chemtrailing activities, and uh, so they can't deny that one. <laughs> so there's proof out there, and let me tell you, um, the whole bit about this happens to be about lawsuits, okay? It's all about lawsuits. Like, you know, other states can sue us because we're dumping all their water on us. What happens if this storm were to peter out here, you know, and they get none of it, okay? All because we geoengineer here. They can sue us. Individuals can sue us. And there's companies that are being contracted, okay, by the United States Air Force that, that uh, it does all this that they're supposedly protected by lawsuits because they're contracted through the military okay to perform this on these huge scales and the uh, NOAA will deny it oh, there's a lightning strike might get some thunder in here 
Uh, but Noah denies. Everybody denies. Everybody denies. And that's what it is right now. It's a big denial. <laughs> My doggy barking because of the thunder there. <laughs> it's a pretty close strike, actually. And, uh, and that's how they're avoiding lawsuits. And what you need to do is demand that your insurance companies, you know, whenever you have to rewrite your policies, you ask them about this man-made weather and how you are protected. Are you protected? You see? So, uh, that's, and, and if not, you better be. And if you get damage or sustain loss, you demand an investigation because you have proof. Just Google it. Go on, not just by me. Google it and find all these. There's tons of sources out there about geoengineering and weather modification. Okay, some of them are pretty good. Some of them are, are go to the extreme and and, uh, and and are rightfully so. That's just, you know, I guess the natural way of things. And, uh, but yeah, um, just wanted to put this out in addition to what's going on with the sun. Now we got these X flares and kaboom. Now we got severe weather. Now remember we were in drought all this year, all last year, the year before. Okay, and uh, yeah, okay, it's raining, it's pouring. Uh, but uh, it's all done by design. Okay, the farmers actually need to get into the fields. They can't. Oops, it's a little mushy out there. You see what I mean? So. Uh, they, you know, it's all pre-done, and they've got they got treaties actually between states that allow geoengineering to take place and protect from lawsuits. We've got FEMA that puts their nose into it, and uh, and at this point, if your insurance companies won't cooperate, they're colluding, and they need to be sued as well. And I uh, please beg uh, any upcoming attorneys, uh, you newbies out there that are graduating from law school and just passing your bar, check out geoengineering lawsuits. You know, advertise for those. Become a specialist in geoengineering and weather modification and start suing the butts off of these companies that are damaging people's homes. All right? You'll make a billion bucks, trust me. Okay? Uh, I would do it myself if I had a law degree. <laughs> you know, I know enough about the laws and the, and the policies that the uh, natural resources departments have between contractors and the military, etc. And they're protected by layers of policy and, and even some legislation that's out there, even UN uh, protection that says, well, you can't do it to other countries, but you could do it to yourself. Yeah, you tell them, baby. See, she's, she's learning. <laughs> She's gonna be my co-star pretty soon. Well, she already is actually, aren't you, baby? Huh? Yeah. And I'm going to hopefully teach her about this too. She'll she'll learn about it. And and I've actually been talking to the younger crowds, okay, uh, the ones uh, that are the twenties, and they know all about this. They see the see the points, and they they're questioning too. And uh, so I hope that you uh, older guys that have been studying for a while. Uh, we'll educate them rationally and in and, and their uh, direct approaches, like I'm saying, um, uh, through the bureaucracies that protect them, you could turn them against themselves. All right, because they depend on you, the end users, paying the premiums, okay? All right, and, and also if they can't get that, then they'll, they'll take it from you, okay? Well, it seems like that's what they're doing. And devaluing property, property values, okay? Every time a natural disaster or your county is declared a natural disaster area, it drives down your property values, and you wonder why you're upside down on your houses. I, I, I mean, you know, I hear uh, other people talk about other things that are going on, uh, but this is a wide range, I think, conspiracy, because this is not being told. All right, this is uh, uh, something that's being told in the back offices of your legislature, and your bureaucracies and uh, like your army corps of engineers <laughs> they have a deep hand in this as well so uh, but, but here we go we got manufactured weather coming in and uh, right over Iowa like I said it's ground zero folks for, for uh, let me zoom out to region it's ground zero okay zoom out to nation
You see how they're using it here to pull up all this? It's being pulled up over Mexico. It's not being pulled out of the Gulf of Mexico. It's being pulled out over Mexico. This is what I see here. And then this is being formed here, this whole line. But this is the energy that's being used right here to do the, uh, uh, the convection here line, to pull all the uh, moisture up. They want to try to tap into the Gulf moisture again, I hear, but they haven't had very much success with that. And uh, so they're having to pull energy down out of the north and energy out this way. Okay, and we're not getting this flow like we used to get here. And remember, no hurricanes in the Gulf since the BP oil spill right here. Why? Because that loop current's gone. It's bye-bye. All right, now you they may show you graphs of it, you know. It used to flow real strong and real strong up to the uh, eastern seaboard, okay? And then out over here by Great Britain and the UK, Northern Europe, etc. And that's not happening anymore. And they may have done this on purpose, folks, uh, for a, a few reasons. Um, uh, one could be Fukushima, controlling where the radiation falls. Uh, it would be a good idea to have control of the weather patterns if you know that all that moisture that's coming out here of your Pacific Ocean has been irradiated all the way up to your west coast and down here, okay. And it concentrates over time, so yeah, it would be in your rain. Why doesn't any state test their rain? Huh? They got all kinds of water boards and testing the waterways and the water in your taps and all this, but they don't test your rain. Check that out. How many states test their rain? I'd say about zero to three, maybe. <laughs> All right. They'll test the water in your in your rivers, in your lakes, in your streams, and in your ponds, but they will not test the water that comes out of your sky. Why do you say? All right. Well, anyway, uh, that's a pretty long video for you guys. Guess I had a little bit more to say than I than, than I thought. And uh, we got severe weather uh, actually warnings now for Guthrie County, which is the county right next to me, just uh, next to me, north of me, but uh, coming my way. Uh, as you can see, there's energy here. It's all being perpetuated by this energy here. Well, I hope this video is finding you good, guys. Take care.